What's up and cloud babies? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dream and I'm back again with another video. Today, if you couldn't tell by the title, which I don't even know what I'm naming this title, I just know I'm gonna be talking about my four year relationship that everybody keeps on asking me to talk about. There was somebody right there. But I'm gonna be talking about my four year relationship that everybody keeps on asking me about the story time, the story time, the story time. So here we go. A couple of weeks ago, which was two to three weeks ago, I actually came down to Atlanta from New Orleans because me and my ex just weren't in the right place. So what happened was me and my ex actually were having problems back to back for like over a year now. I don't even know. See, the thing is, I don't want to even make this video to bash anybody or to like expose anybody or make anybody feel any type of way. I'm just explaining stuff over the top, if you want to say that. Me, when you're in a relationship, you can't expect somebody to do 80% and then the other person does 20%. Also, that's really just how I felt. Like, towards the end, I just felt like I was the only one putting in the work and he was just kind of just chilling there, just laying there, didn't really care about anything I did. I don't know. He just really changed from how everything was at the beginning and how everything ended. At the beginning, I honestly, he was really trying to pursue me, but I just wasn't into him. And as he kept on being consistent and consistent and consistent, I just ended up giving in. I was like, you know what, fuck it, whatever. So I ended up, you know, fucking with him and falling for him in a way. So I honestly fell for him because he was different from everybody else that I like ever fucked with or whatever. Like he was super sweet. He was super emotional. Like he showed me that he actually liked me, liked me for real. He was just the complete opposite of a fuckboy, okay? Like, the complete opposite of a guy in 2018 slash 2019, okay? I was like, damn, bet, like, he's really a good guy. And he, he didn't just tell me these things, like, he showed me, which, like, I'm big on action. Like, I'd rather you actually show me than tell me what you're doing or what you're about to do. You know, we ended up dating or whatever. We moved in together, our first apartment. We had like two sets of apartments within, within those four years, whatever. Over time, it's just, honestly, we both became toxic for each other. I'm not even gonna put it all on him because I know I had some fault in the two. Um, honestly, I'm the type of female, like I am cool as fuck. I'm super laid back at the beginning. I will give you my all and everything, including my trust. Like I will give you the benefit of the doubt at the beginning. So you break that trust and you break that bond, you break that, then you just lost everything with me because I'm big on that. Once you lose your trust with me, I'm kind of just done. Like I'm always gonna be looking over your shoulder. I'm always gonna ask you who you're texting. I'm always gonna ask you goofy fucking questions. And you know, it shouldn't have to be like that. Of course, there's the car coming. It's wondering what I'm doing. So over time, I basically started just arguing every day, and like I said, keep on looking over his shoulder every day, and just I just started tripping overall. But there was a reason why I was tripping that way if you know what I'm saying. Like, I'm not just gonna act that way. Oh my God, I'm not even gonna stop the car. Wouldn't just act that way just for no reason, obviously. So anyway, over time I just started arguing with him, like literally from that February up until like when we broke up. I was, I forgave him for something that I really truly didn't forgive him for in the inside, like I was, I was just tripping, I was just tripping. I actually ended up going nuts in the head. Like I just kept on checking his phone and every time somebody would text him or call him, I'm like, who is that? Like uh, when he would hang out, like it's like wherever he went, I had to go wherever I went, he had to go because I just didn't trust anything that he did. So, but once again, there was a reason for why my trust was gone and I was acting the way I was acting. Now he didn't see eye to eye with me. He didn't understand or i don't want to say he didn't understand because i spoke to him over and over and over and here's the thing i feel like if you fuck up right with somebody and you truly care like you're gonna do whatever it takes to make that shit up or like if you have to kiss my ass for a couple of months and just make me see that okay like you're really sorry then 
so be it just do it show me that you fucking care show me that i mean something to you like but what happens when somebody doesn't change their behavior obviously they don't give a fuck and so i just honestly found myself why do i want to cry this is exactly why i was dragging to make this video because before it was worse like I, this is my second time actually making this video i had finished the video and everything previously but um it was too much i was like tearing up now it's not as recent anymore it's been two to three weeks so i'm semi-fine i just try not to think about it too much towards the end like i said like i technically i started kind of trying to force something that wasn't there like i just wanted him to just care just just care <laughs> just started forcing and like trying to force him to care like i remember i would cry i would cry every day but like when we got in arguments and stuff and like he would walk away or just show me that he didn't give a fuck i would literally sit there and cry and like get on my knees on the floor like in front of him and fucking look at him and just be like please care like just like that like i i completely humiliated myself and i'll never do that again because i'll be them and like i said it wasn't completely on him like it's on me too because if i'm telling you like i forgive you for something and then i'm constantly checking up on you and constantly doing all this extra bullshit and arguing with you about just the dumbest things because i don't trust you and that means i didn't move on from what you did so i'm lying i didn't forgive you so i understand like his frustration too at the same time you don't want somebody nagging in your ear 24 7 you don't want somebody you know fussing with you checking up on you checking your phone calling you all day texting you all day where you at what you doing blah 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 like while you at work and shit like i will call his job too like i'm not gonna lie i did some crazy shit like it drove me nuts like i said i didn't i, I will pull up at his job i would bitch he has a serious job like it's nothing to play with i don't even think you're supposed to be in there unless you work in there like in a parking lot or anything it's a plant so but i i really didn't give a fuck i had no car or nothing i will uber and waste my money and pull up at his job just to make sure he's at work or just to make sure he's not doing something he's not supposed to like you don't want that and i just can't i didn't want to do that for the rest of my life so i had to i do have a lot of love for him because it's been four years and i did was in love with him and stuff but I, at one point you just got to choose to love yourself more because that's not healthy for your head like i was literally crying every day my emotions ran my appetite um which i'm still trying to change that now that i'm you know here by myself and stuff i'm still trying to like find my own little routine after four years of like by myself if that makes sense it's just not healthy anyways i know myself like i knew i'm not the type of person to just let it go like yeah bitch i hold grudges and especially something like that like i'm uh, the rest of my life is a long time okay like the rest of my life is a long time i don't want to be checking over your shoulder and wondering if you're texting females or whoever or if you really at work or if the, what you tell me is the truth like that's too much for me i don't want that i want peace of mind i want to be able to you know what i'm saying just be free and like know that you're not doing anything like i don't know everything honestly could have been fixed in a way if he would have just showed me something some type of caring something but i and trust me it took me a minute to actually get out the house because i wasn't leaving like he was doing all this stuff and i still wasn't leaving like i was just staying i would just be like all right like we just gonna talk it out again and again and again and again and again until one point like i finally you have to love yourself more than whatever is going on like if it's especially if it's toxic you have to love yourself i can't say nothing else that's really it and i really just wanted to hurry up and make this video and just get it out the way so i can completely just close that freaking chapter of my life and just post it and forget or not even forget just move on move forward and continue to do my thing continue to glow continue to work on work and continue to keep myself busy and to just keep striving to be the best me that i can be that that's really the story time like i said i don't want to say too much within like what happened and stuff but it was just it just got really wild like police got involved everything it got super wild with everything it just got to the point where we both were toxic for each other 
and we both knew that before i even came to atlanta we actually sat down in the car and we kind of slick spoke about it but it was one of those times where we were like done but we like we said we were done and stuff like talking normal and calm and everything but you know we were still showing each other like affection and stuff but it wasn't i don't know i just chose to get my stuff and just remove myself from the situation i knew that if i came to atlanta for a week or two that i was just gonna i don't know i feel like it would be more of like an out of sight out of mind type of thing and i was supposed to go back to new orleans like i said in my previous video if y'all haven't watched the um what's really going on video i'm gonna link it down in the description box below i actually had a flight back to new orleans this trip was supposed to be a round trip not just a stay <laughs> trip but like i started thinking and thinking and thinking y'all know i always tell you i'm an overthinker i overthink everything like this shirt i will overthink these earrings with the rhinestones i'll overthink the rhinestones and the earrings not literally but it's just so y'all understand like how i am in the head i just was picturing me just arriving in new orleans like literally as soon as my plane touched new orleans air I was gonna be depressed as soon as i walked into that house i was gonna be depressed as soon as i see him like i was just gonna ball out and cry because i'm just a water bag like i'm freaking emotional as fuck i don't know what's wrong with me yeah i just i just didn't want to go through those feelings and if you want to call it that and if you want to say that i was running away then from my feelings and my problems then say that i really don't care i didn't want to go through those feelings and i wasn't going through those feelings now half of more than half of my shit is actually still at those apartments where we stayed at together um he actually just got a new roommate or whatever so i'm guessing he moved my stuff out that room and put it somewhere i asked him to put it in boxes and maybe drop it off at my grandpa's or my cousin actually hit me up and told me you know if you need me to get your clothes and actually send them to you i can so that's probably what's gonna work best Mm. I'm not going back to New Orleans. I'm actually staying here for real in Atlanta. Nothing else pretty much to say. Like, y'all know I've been wanting to move either to LA or Atlanta just because my career is going to increase in either state that I go to because there's so many, so much more opportunities here and in LA than where I was at. In New Orleans, there was, it's nothing to do with nothing that I was doing. I didn't fit in. That wasn't my speed. The people there is not doing what i'm doing like at this point i just want to be great i want to just hit skyrockets and be super successful and just be truly happy for real that's where i'm at right now all right y'all well if y'all really enjoyed this video make sure to please give it a thumbs up comment some encouraging words and let me know what y'all would like to see next on this channel and i love you guys so much thank y'all for listening